So, our first speaker tonight is uh, Mark McDermott. Um, uh, he is making his way to the stage now, and he's going to be telling us about the fact that perception is projection. Um, so, I haven't looked at his slides yet, I don't know what it's going to be about. It'll be interesting, but if you can welcome to the stage, Mark. So, um, I'm going to very quickly obviously talk about perception as projection. It's a concept that when you get this into your mind, it'll change the way that you perceive people, situations and so on. It'll make you change the way that you choose your strategies, the way that you employ yourself along the way to get the results that you actually want to get. Okay, so uh, Alfred calls it to be quite a dude from the past. He said that the map is inside your mind, it's not outside. The picture you're seeing at the moment is inside your mind, it's not actually outside, although it seems like it is. The question is, who's driving your bus? Now, if it's not you, then it's someone else. And I, depending on who it is that's driving your bus, I mean, I'm seriously worried, you know? So I want to find out how to drive my own bus instead. So there's a number of ways that we can actually do that. So if I'm at the core side of an equation, the other side is effect. From the effect side, then, you know, things are happening over which I have no control, it's just happening to me. If I'm the cause side of the effect, then I'm causing my entire experience. I'm choosing to have the experience that I'm having. All the decisions I'm making are leading to the results I get. At the rate of 11 million things per second are coming at you from the outside world, okay? That's far too much for me to actually conceive of the events that are surrounding you. So what you have to do is you have to choose. Now, if I gave you one cocktail of stick, a second, and you have to say whether it's dipped in paint or not, that's easy. 126 per second, which is what your brain processes the 11 million, that's kind of it. You can just like hang on to it. 11 million a second, no chance whatsoever. So what I have to do is I have to select things. Because there's only a certain amount that I can actually personally know. There's what I know I know. There's what other people know that I could be aware of. There's other stuff that they're aware of that I'm not aware of. There's stuff that nobody's aware of. And then the stuff that we can't ever know. So it comes in 11 million bits per second. I'm going to delete stuff, distort stuff. I'm not listening to the air conditioning, for example, that's deleted. I'm going to distort stuff and I'm going to generalise. We're in a place, there's lots of you, you're all very friendly, there's a generalisation for you. As a result of that, I'm going to put 126 bits into my mind. I can only be aware of seven of them at any given moment. And from that, I'm going to have thoughts. Thoughts create feelings, feelings create physiology. And that all goes round in circles and then it comes back out as behaviour. So the way that I select things out is I'll use metaprograms, I've got time to go into that, values, what's important to me, what I believe in, previous decisions that I've made, whether they worked or not, and memories. They're all the kind of filters that I'm going to use to get down from 11 million down to just the seven that I can actually hang on to at any minute. So basically, 11 million coming in, that's a big number. Seven is what I'm going to end up with, 126. That's what your brain works with. It's a huge, huge universe out there, and I'm only aware of a small amount of it. But I can use that. Because when I look out at you, I see all you beautiful people, I'm projecting my internal experience out onto you. And that's what basically that picture's about. I'm projecting out. If I think the world's a nice place, I'll see lots of people smiling, nodding, smiling at me. If I don't see it that way, I'll see it a different way with the same mechanisms inside my mind. So I want to focus on what I want. What I decide is right is right. If I believe I can do something, if I don't believe that I can do something, I'm right. And I like Michael Caine there saying he doesn't want to be convinced about things that he can't do. He doesn't want, doesn't want it in his brain. If I'm going to create change, I want to get a compelling future. Something that's so appealing that I want to head towards it with every fibre I've got. But it's not just that. I need to take action. I need to break it down into steps and take action and focus on what I want. Because where I focus my mind, that's where my energy will go. When I learn how to play the bass, I focus on things going down. My fingers come out and then it turns into bass notes that people like or not. But basically, where my energy goes to so focus on what I don't want, that's what I'll get. Because when I focus on what I want or don't want, however focused, my signals, electrical, going down my neurology, but 
to get across the gap that involves chemicals. Our unconscious mind is in control of the chemicals. So I can control how my mind is releasing chemicals in my body. That's basically the mind-body connection. I want to stay on focus because if I go one degree out and I go for far enough, then I'll be a million miles away from where I want to be in life. And I've done that twice. I've reinvented myself twice so far, and I'll keep going. It's not about a straight line between now and where I'm trying to get to, because I'm going to go left and right and left and right, so I need some sort of navigation device so that I can head to where I'm actually going, so I know where I am in any given point compared to where I'm actually trying to get to. Does that make sense? Good. Okay. So, if it's specific enough and it's measurable and it's stated as if now, but in the future, uh, it's realistic and it's timed, that's the last bit that most people leave out, that I'll start to head my mind in a direction and utilise the 11 million bits that I don't get consciously in order to get towards where I'm going to. It's all about direction. Uh, finally, Einstein said, any, any, if everything is energy, that's all there is to it. Match the frequency of your reality to the frequency of what you're trying to get, basically. And that's what's going to happen. It's, it's not foo-foo, it's just the way it is. Thanks for listening to me.